Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Astroneer tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on us making a printer. So from where I left off in the last, e last episode, remember I destroyed them hostiles, left click on the unknown research, you can carry it back to your base. Eventually when we have a research machine we'll be able to research this. So for now we're just storing them near our base. Okay, so let's head back with this. Another one there for me to pick, but I'm going to leave that where it is. I just picked this one because it was loose. It takes a little getting used to the terraforming, but once you get the gist of it, you will have so much fun. Um, when I bought this game, okay, um, I thought let's have a little look at it, see if it's any good. Twelve hours later, I had to force myself to sleep. Force myself. I just could not stop playing. It's just incredible, this game. Okay, right, so we need to do a printer. In the last episode, we gathered two stacks of copper. So let's find the smelter, which is just here. I attached a solar panel so it has power. So what we do to use this machine, we'll bring up our backpack, left click, slot the malachite into the smelter, and then click this green button here, the arrow facing pointing down. That's now going to take all of the energy and smelt to copper. Now that we have the copper we'll put that in our backpack. We will now go over to... oops didn't want to bring up the terraformer. We'll now go over to here. This is where our print is going to be. Remember don't do it off of the first node always make a second node out because then this node now can expand around it okay you now fully understand that okay so for this we let because we've got two copper in our backpack we just left click it places them in for us and then we'll click create printer okay we now have a printer we don't have any energy for it so, guess what we've now got to do? We've got to go get some compound so we can make... Oh, let's turn this around. Another solar panel. Oh, in fact, I have got some compound, so let's create a solar panel. And what we're going to do is we will slot the solar panel into the front. There we go. That's now filling up nicely with energy. Now all of the structures do link. Do you see the gold bars going through the cables? That's power. Power shares. So if I only had one solar panel on the, the, so, on the printer, it's going to share, once this fills up with power, the printer, any additional power that this creates will then go to other machines on the network that needs it. So it shares its power, providing they're connected, which they all are. You'll then notice them yellow flashes going through the cables. That means power is being sent around your base to whatever machines need power. OK, let's have a look at what the printer can do for us. So this is the printer. We can make, you'll notice the first thing is a solar panel. Oh, here comes a storm. Let's see if I can show you this storm. Oh, where's my cave? Dang it. You don't get long. See, you move really slowly when there's a storm. Now, just to show you what happens. Boulders will start coming down. And if they, if there's the boulders. If they hit you, you're dead. See, see the boulders flying around? 
they kill you within one hit. one hit of the boulder kills you. Make sure you get underground. The storms don't last long. Oh, but they are still. Whoa. Ah! Well, there you go. I had to show you dying by boulder, didn't I? But the trouble is, now I'm out in the storm, I'll be dead. Like so. Okay, look, there's what's left of my items. So we'll grab that and slot it into my backpack. Notice I didn't have to open my backpack. That is the quick way of slotting items back into your backpack. Although, to be honest with you, I always find it easier just to bring the backpack up. But you can just click on them and slot them in. Okay, the storms don't last long, so it should be over now. There we go. All safe again. Right, at least I've shown you no dying by storm. Okay, so back to the printer, and I was about to explain the first item that you can make. So now that we have the printer, you've got your right and left arrows as usual with all the machinery. It's all just so intuitive, so nicely laid out, so easy to learn. This is the solar panel. Next we can make a storage. The solar panel though. This will make a solar panel solar panel which is twice the strength of the one that you can make in your backpack. You will see this solar panel looks different to the one that's in your backpack. This looks like a little aerial device, whereas the one that you can make through the printer looks just looks so cool. So it'll give you a very strong solar panel, one that gives you is equivalent of having two of the single solar panels. Next, you can make storage. Now you're probably wondering, why do I need storage? Because if I brought up my backpack, I could left click on the um, tethers and drop them on the ground. And so as I gather resources, I could just drop them all on the ground. There are two reasons why you don't want to do that, why you want to use storage. Reason one, if the storm comes, it blows all your stuff on the ground away, as you would imagine. So you'll lose all your, your stuff. Or it might just blow it a distance away and you'll find it, but you don't want that aggravation. Number two, when you wander off away from your base on the other side of the planet, it's a bit like Minecraft, that if the chunk's not loaded, your stuff's gone. Okay, so anything just left on the ground, you'll lose. So always, always, make storage so let's move on show you what else you can make with the printer wind turbine the same as the wind vane let's bring that up there's the wind vane this is a small mini one which can be used in your backpack uh, this one is again twice the strength so it gives you twice the amount of power and it will utilize the storm and the wind so at night time if it's windy you'll get power from that of course the best source of power is the generator but it uses and requires coal to generate and as you know we've not found any coal yet it's a rare resource battery well, that will make us a nice big battery that we can slot into our backpack to give us a load more additional power to our main power. Uh, carrying on, so there's the generator. Seat, which we will need for our land vehicle and spacecraft. It's only a small spacecraft, but it gets you from planet A to planet B in style. Okay, next. Okay, so that's all the items we can currently make. Remember that there is research. Research unlocks further machinery and items that you can make. Also bear in mind though that uh, Astroneer was only launched one week ago yesterday. So give the guys time at uh, 
the developers time and they will add loads and loads of content I just know this game is just looking so beautiful I can't wait for it to get more content but what I aim to do though is show all the content in this series so right okay we have a printer the first thing that I want to make with it is storage so we're going to need compound and we're going to need lots of compound because when my tethers run out I will want more tethers and that means more compound so let's follow on along this direction now I've got a hole here so the first thing I want to do is fill that up because that will get in my way for my vehicle oh, what I did there was dig instead of fill and flatten Yeah, I need it to be daytime. Okay, let's go get compound to come back when it's daytime and fill that hole. Daytime, excellent. Uh, we've got free compound. Let's just get a bit more. In fact, now that we can make storage, we don't have to worry about how much we're getting. We can fill up our backpack. So that's what I'm going to do. Fill it up. Why not? Let's stop thinking small. Okay, right, that's it depleted. So what we do now that it's daytime, we fill these holes up. Holes are not good. I could spend all day just terraforming. It's so much fun. Just go dig holes, dig resources, fill holes, and that's me, happy. I don't want much for Christmas. I just want a hole to terraform. Okay, right, let's go back, find that other hole, and fill that one up. Astroneer is not a game you rush. You simply do not rush this game. You absorb it and enjoy it to its full. Where was that other hole? That's the cave. I definitely don't want to fill that. Ah, oh, here we go. You know, I'll spend a day just going around the planet filling the holes in. Yeah, I know I'm weird. But that's how I get my fun. Whatever floats your boat. For me, my boat is definitely floated when I've got a hole to fill. Look at this, it's so cool. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Nipnoid, for making me aware of this beautiful game. Careful not to go too quickly when you're filling in. Notice there it dips down if you do. You've got to try and keep it at the same height, so slowly edge across. Mm. 
there we go. Look at that. How cool. Oh, there's the timer. Time does go so quickly when you're having a ball. Okay, so we made our printer. I've got some compound. In the next episode, we will put this compound to work and make us some cool storage. And you will see how cool it is. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.